welcome back to my channel and today i'm gonna be making stuff with apples because we have an abundance of them and i would like to start some fall baking well not really baking it's gonna be apple chips and apple cider so this i'll be probably making into the apple cider because i don't know how many apples we need but you know when you start draining through it doesn't look as much as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now that I dried my apples, by the way, I'm just using wine sap and golden delicious from one of its apples at an apple orchard, Bowie Orchard, New Jersey. If you want great pies and apple cider, go check them out. I'm trying to mimic their apple cider but they don't have what they put in their apple cider on their apple cider, which is kind of weird, but I'm gonna try and make that. Anyway, so. some batches but I just want to show you guys what I'm gonna do with the first batch so I'm just gonna add teaspoon I would put into that and about a teaspoon of cinnamon and this one's bidet of cinnamon and then we blend So 13 apples later, two cheesecloths, five pureed blenders worth, and one emulsifier, I have two liters of apple cider, and yes, it does taste good. I've already had a glass. So the next thing I want to get into is making apple chips, and I'm going to be doing that in the air fryer. Because to me, doing it in the oven, I've tried many times and they either become too burnt or they never get crispy enough. So I'm going to be doing it in the air fryer. I'm going to try cutting it a little bit thicker than I have in the past because when I cut them super thin, like paper thin, they fly all over the air fryer because it's air frying. 
them <laughs> instead of just like a normal fryer. So I'm gonna get started on that and I'm using a mandolin. So if when you watch it, please watch your fingers if you have a mandolin at home. If not, just try your best to cut them as thin. So like I was saying, it's super easy to make apple chips. If you, have, if you could just slice them really thin, if you have a mandolin, use it, but please be careful. Just lined a grease tray from the air fryer and I'm just going to line them up on here. You can't fit a lot on it, that's the only downfall opposed to the oven which you can fit a whole tray's worth. Um, like I said, you can put them in the oven, that's not a problem, it's just, for me, I've never had much success and they take absolutely forever in the oven. Meaning, it could be in there for anywhere between three to four hours. So I have them in there for 20 minutes at 350 and then they should be golden brown. So one hour and a half later, this is what they all look like one bowl of two apples. That's all you can use to say, that's my snack. Mm -hmm. 